Don't panic. The WPress doctor is here. We're going to fix your hacked website within a couple of minutes. Breathe in, breathe out, because it's gonna be all fine. In this video, we're going to fix a hacked website. Someone came to me and he said, I have a website which is really slow, can you investigate it? While investigating, I stumbled upon really strange things. But the first thing you need to check for me is if you have backups. If you log into your hosting company and you can restore backups from yesterday or two days ago, a week ago, a month ago, and the hack is gone, that's perfect. After that, you can just install iTheme Security. I made a tutorial about it right here, so you can watch it, install it, and then you're safe. But in this video, I'm gonna show you a website that also the backup has been infected with malware and logins. It is amazing. If you wanna clean your WordPress website, we're going to start right now. So on this dashboard, I noticed something strange is going on. The client came to me with a question about some checkout that didn't work. But on logging in, I saw this. WP Rocket could not modify the HTD access file. This is not very normal. Also, when I try to update this file, I go to a new tab and this is what I see. It is forbidden. This is not pretty normal. So the first thing I want to do is check the HTT access about what's happening on this website. How you can do that, you can log in using FTP or you can log into your hosting company and there you can open up the file editor. So let's do that last one because it's most easy for everybody. Most hosting use direct admin, some use Blesk as we have right here. And some other has like SiteGround, they have their own backend. But what you need is you're looking for this file manager. Now we're going to see about this HTT access, what's going on with this file. It is acting weird. This is strange because normally when you open it, there is a way to edit it, like this one, editing code editor. When I do it with this one, it doesn't see that. Why? It has to do with the permissions, I think. So let's see. All right, the permissions has been changed so that we cannot write it. Let's save it. Let's put it on write and press save. Now let me see what's going on with this. Now can we, yes, now can we edit it in code editor. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, this is not a normal WordPress HTT access. So let me show you the normal HTT access file in WordPress is supposed to look like this. Begin WordPress and end WordPress. And this is to make the rewrite rules good. So you can use permalinks and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is normal. And this is what it says. It says order allow deny deny from all. So what someone has been doing here is all these files. Those are not WordPress files. Auto SEO, that's PHP. WP block header, that's PHP. MS sites. Those are not WordPress core files. So someone is trying to cover up and it's trying to log us out to not edit these files, right? We're gonna change this file back to the normal HTT access file. So this is the normal one. We're going to copy it. And then we're gonna select this and press paste. And we're gonna save it right there. All right, the files were saved successfully. I'm going to another file and go back to HTTP docs to see if Oh, I cannot log in again. Now, this is very, very strange. I change this, I save it, and when I refresh it, it has been changed back again immediately. This is a big problem. The problem with this code is that nothing is allowed to change these files, and I'm pretty sure that these are malicious files. There has to be a cron job that is actually changing this AT access again, again, and again constantly so that no one discovers the hack or can change it. So now we also know why WP Rocket is not able to add this code because no one is allowed to add anything or change anything because the hackers don't want it. But there is a way. What we need is a malware scanner on our WordPress website. We go to plugins, we're going to press add new plugin. That's forbidden because they have also injected the plugins file, so we cannot add any plugins. Hmm, that's smart, but there is a way. So what you're gonna do when you go to, you, you type in Google WordFans download, and then you go to official wordpress.org website. We go to download WordFans, and we press on this download button. Here we go. 
All right, then we go back to our file manager because they can make sure we cannot add plugins, but we can upload plugins. We go to WP content, we go to plugins, and here we can upload WordFence. As you can see, we have a, they have an awful lot of plugins. I'm not a fan of this because it is security-wise not very useful, but Grafty Forms, Media Post, Smart Crawl, but hold up. What's this? Despicamokmo? This is not a real plugin, trust me, it's not. Is there more like this? Or is one? Oh, well, what is this? Let me see. What is this? This is Pauskawayar, Dutch PHP. Let me check. Let me check what, what this does. Oh my, this is exactly how hacked and injected files looks like. It might seem all gibberish, but if you have the right key, you can actually read this and execute code with it. So I think that in somewhere on this, somewhere in this files is the key. Yeah, here's the key. So the function is this, and then they have a, yeah. So you have to extract number two and change it. And then, all right, this is exactly how it works. It says Fox Auto. Let's see if Fox Auto is a hacker or something. All right, and when I search for Fox Auto hack, this is what I see in Google. Hackforums.net, Fox Auto, private, get C panel, SMTP, root DP. This is a hacking tool. Very interesting. Let me see how this works. Oh, this is amazing, guys. I've just found the download page of this piece of software that's been used to hack this website. And they just actually created a video that explains how you can actually hack WordPress websites, Joomla websites, Drupal websites. It's just a tool that does everything for you if you know how to run it, of course, and how to make it used for different websites. But it seems like so child play, you know? It is not very hard. If you just look at this and you slow it down and you do it step by step, you can actually use these tools. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted that this video is from March 2021 and they've used this tool to hack a website in 2022. I mean, there has to be some Plesk updates that, they, that the hosting company didn't do. It must be something like that because Hey, look at these guys. It's, I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I just, so in this video, they actually demonstrate how you can gain full access to a website, uh, use mails, how to reset passwords, how to send mails via Plesk, how to hack it. It is unbelievable. So now we know that they use a tool to actually hack Plesk. Well, that's a, a little bit higher than only just WordPress. So in our case, not only our WordPress has been hacked, but they have also hacked Splesk itself. Well, when they are at Splesk, well, that's like the highest level, but it explains how they can actually change HD access really fast back again. It has to do because they have all the rights in the world. That's a problem. That's a very big problem. To clean Plesk, that's a whole lot of video and I'm not going to discuss it here, but we're going to clean out this WordPress installation. So we have saw that there are actually some plugins in there that are just really not supposed to be there like this. So they've actually used this plugin as a Trojan horse to put up their own files within it. So one of the things, of course, we're going to do is we're going to pick up this plugin and remove it once and for all. Skip the recycle bin and just throw it away right there. All right, that's gone. Then we're going to upload WordFence. So you press upload file somewhere and then you upload WordFence and we press close. And after uploading, you need to extract it. So you scroll down, you go to your file and you press extract files right there. Press OK. And now it has been extracted to here, WordFence. All right, we can delete this one. Remove, yes, remove. And now go, and now we go back to the WordPress dashboard to actually run it. All right, to run it, we go to plugins, installs plugins. And then we scroll down all the way to we see WordFence. Right there, press activate. 
All right, after activating it, we go down here to WordFence and you go to Dashboard. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to scan this entire website. So if you if you go down here to WordFence, you go to Scan, and then we press Start New Scan right there. And if we now scroll down, WordFence is actually working already. And now we just wait for the scan to come up with all kinds of things that we see. And that will give us a clue if we need to reinstall the entire WordPress or whatever next step to be taken. So we just wait a bit. The scan has been completed. So let's go down and see what files are all infected. We have w includes functions.php, critical index.php, w includes template loader. It's the new file. We've seen it before. W includes plugin.php, WordPress core files has been changed, index.php. All right, we have, all right, and we have two plugins that are a problem. We have one that has been, must be updated, and one has been abandoned. So the last update was used in 2017. That's always a very bad practice to keep on your website. Don't do that ever. All right, let me see if we can fix it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press repair all repairable files. Let's see if that works. Press repair files and then WordFence is working down there. Repaired some files, but with errors. That is, you don't have permission to repair the, the yes, of course. It is because they changed all the HD access files, so we cannot change anything, all right? This is bad. So we cannot repair the files with this malware scanner because they have fix this so that it could not work. There are a few ways to go from here. The first thing we need to do is we need to find out who actually logged in our website and changed everything and we have to close that entrance. To do that, we go to WordFence, you go to Tools. And on this page, you can see if the logins that are being registered are actually real users. But well, we don't have any people logging in this website from other countries than the Netherlands. That's where I'm from. As you can see the WPress doctor, that's me. We logged in 12 minutes ago. It was successful. That's why it is green. But all the red dots mean that someone's trying to log in and he's being blocked out. So here we have a lot of blocked out logins, all from different countries than the Netherlands. So when I scroll down, I'm trying to look for a real login that gives us some information why this website has been compromised. Wait, we can do this easier. If you scroll all the way up, because there are so many of them, you go to filter traffic and you go to registered users. All right. Now we only have the logins on registered users like myself. So we scroll down here. We see that's me. Okay. We scroll down again and then we see Utrecht. Well, that's probably me, yes, because I have a VPN, so I'm logging in from different uh, cities in the Netherlands, but it's always the Netherlands. A, hey, and there we have Turkey. This is interesting because there is no one in Turkey from this business right now. All right, someone logged in as Rutger. So now we know that the username Rutger has been compromised. It has been hacked some way or another, and they're using it to log in successfully in the website. And that is not very good. All right, let's scroll down if we have any more people. Okay, so we now know that some user as Rutger has been compromised. Let's go to users right now, users, all users, and let's see who this Rutger is. Let's go to all the admins. Then we scroll down and we see that there is a Rutger right here. So I think this is a legitimate user, but it has been compromised one way or another. So what are we going to do? We're going to delete this entire user. Just press on delete, confirm deletion. So now we have closed this back door in WordPress. That's good. All right, we still have a, this particular client has a problem with Blesk, but we're not going to fix it in this video. I'm going to fix it after I recorded this. But now what? We still have all the infected files and I guess a lot of these files can be used to actually create new users. So in a couple of hours, they will be back at it again. So how are we going to change that? Well, we're going back to the file editor. In the file manager, you go back to your HTTP docs. That is where your entire website lives. So <clears throat> what do we need to do? WP content, this is the place 
where all your plugins live and your themes and your uploads or your images. So this is one thing you don't you don't want to remove. Press up again. What we're going to do is we're going to select everything except WP content and we're going to archive it. Yes, we're going to archive it. Press add to archive and we're going to press and type in hacked WordPress. Press OK. Now everything will be added into the zip file on your server. That is because we are going to remove the rest. Now, don't freak out because before we're going to remove it, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to download a clean, fresh install of WordPress. So you go to, to wordpress.org slash download, and then you can just press here download and install it yourself. Download WordPress 5.9 and save the file on your computer. Hooray! All right, we go back to our file manager. Then we have our packed in hacked WordPress website. Just leave it in there. That's okay. We're just going to upload a new file. What I'm curious is also the WordFence says that index.php was compromised. So let's, well, we cannot open it actually. So let's change the permissions again because they have changed it for us. I'm going to write it. And we have a quick window to edit it in the code editor. Ah. It cannot be opened. Why cannot it be opened? It is because of my virus scanner. It's today and it's a Trojan horse actually. <laughs> so index.php is trying to inject a Trojan horse in my computer. And that's why it cannot be opened because my virus scanner is closing the connection before it actually can run. All right, that's pretty good. So make sure you have a good antivirus because it's very important in this business. All right, so what do we need to do? When you want to upload a clean install, there are two things you need to do. You have to go to, we, we, zipped, we zipped it all, that's good. Then we have to use WP content, we want to save this one. So we're going to rename WP content to the right version and press OK. Right, now we have changed it. Then we're going to select everything except WP content, our hacked WordPress, our new WordPress and our WP config, which is very important. We're going to delete all of this right now. Don't be afraid. We have made a backup right there. And we have WP content all saved and your posts and pages are all inside of your database, which has nothing to do with your files. So we're going to press remove. We're going to press yes, remove. Now, all right. So the old version of WordPress has been removed. We're just going to unpack WordPress. We're just going to extract all the files to here. Press OK. And then it has been uploaded to there in WordPress. We're going to select all this. You can see this WP content. Well, we can just not remove that one. WP config is not there. So we're going to move it. We're going to move it to the HTTP docs. Right there. Press OK. Just wait a second. We're going to rename this one. Remove it rename it back all right right there so now we have the new wordpress working on our website all right so now we can clean up our mess so we can clean up the wordpress 5.9 just remove it all right Let's call the hosting company right now because this is really not going to work. And this is why you actually need a good hosting company. I called this guy, explained the situation, he interrupted me and said, I don't know anything about websites, you will be called back by someone who does. Alright, but I need to fix it right now. So we can just do nothing but just wait. Two hours later. After two hours, I decided to call again. Oh, you won't believe this. I called him and he said, well, I'm at a client right now and I can't access my terminal. So I have to call you in the evening. In the evening, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. 
what is going on here? To make things worse, I got a text from my client and this is what he said. So I typed in the brand name of this client in Google and this is what I saw. I of course blurred it out because of the privacy, but this is real bad. If Google indexes this website and has already done that, your SEO rankings will drop immediately. So this is a very big problem. However, now we know exactly what the motives are of the hack. As you can see, the Canon 7D Mark II um, DVDs, I can see a Louis Vuitton. You know what this is? This is Japanese SEO spam. What they actually successfully did was injected all the normal pages of this website, just spam them with all this content about these products. And of course, there is a link to some affiliate website, I think. So it actually works on a short term for it in Google. So their website get boost right now. And if you do this a lot, then yes, that website will get a boost. It is not sustainable. So that's why they just create a store, hack all this website, upload these things, and then the store will rank up, they will score a lot of money, and then they will be removed from the search engines. So in the long run, it's not a solution. On the short run, it's a way to make money. However, this is a big problem, and the hosting company is still not calling back, and it's only half time in the evening. I mean, this is really getting out of hand really quick. So we need to act right now. So in the meanwhile, I decided to look at the logs and see if I could find something that was very off. And actually, I did. You know what I found? I, I noticed that there was a FTP connection going always, it was always on. And what it actually did, it was re-uploading every three seconds index.php and HTTPXS. I mean, come on, why did I think of that earlier on? And now it is pretty easy to block them out once and for all. So if you don't know what FTP access is, it is right here. You can see it in, in any hosting company. So for you guys that doesn't know what FTP is, it's like the file manager, but it's on your computer, it's offline. So it works better. You can automate a lot of stuff and you can just put it to work and go do something else. It's really useful. So now it has been hacked. What do we need to do? We see two accounts right there. So I'm gonna press on this account. I can't delete it because it's the main account. But what I can do is reset the password. So I'm just going to reset the password. I press generate. However, I think it's still a bit short. So I'm going to add a little bit of numbers and stuff. Now, this is way better. I'm going to copy it right. And then we're going to press apply right there. And now the password has been reset and their access have been cut off. Great. Now, let me see if I can now reset the files. I go again to HTT access. I'm going to change the permissions and let's hope this time I can actually change it. And I'm just going to edit it. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted to see. So as you can see right now, we have a begin WP rocket. If you want to speed up your website, follow this tutorial. It will help you a lot. And we have the ending of WP rocket. And here is the begin of WordPress and the end of WordPress. This is exactly how it should be. Yes, we got them. All right, we're going to close this one and we're going to change index.php. And then we need to change the permissions, of course, so I can see it. Hooray! We just got it fixed because this is the normal index.php, the way it should. It hasn't been blocked by my fire scanner. So this is awesome. We are clean, guys. This is just great news for my clients. So we got it. We know where they went. We can now clean the website. And when I run the scan again from WordFriends, it is completely clean. Oh, I'm happy. The only question remains, how did they get access to the FTP accounts? Because when you're hacking WordPress, you cannot go in the Plesk FTP accounts. It is impossible. I'm going to wait for the hosting to call me, but they have a problem because they say it is completely tight and sealed as Vortex. Well, I beg the difference because the hackers actually changed and got FTP access, which is really strange. I really hope this video helped you to clean your own website. If it helped you out, hit that like button. If you have any more questions or you just want to say thank you, drop them down in the comments and I will be glad to answer you. I wish you an awesome day. Stay safe. Follow this tutorial about iTheme securities to secure your website once and for all to get it sealed. And make sure you get a good hosting because this is all the hosting's fault. 
All right, guys, I wish you an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.